So I got really bored watching this, shocker, and started coming up with little <laughs> subplots. So my whole thing was Clint wound up in an insane asylum because his parents sent him for aversion therapy because he was gay. <laughs> and then Small Paul is trans, Ooh. and he spotted that. So he's like, I'm going to save you. I'm going to turn you into a fucking ice cream dork. And <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it just didn't mm -hmm. work out. It could be empowering. Like, I feel like there was yeah. a, a sort of empowering storyline in there. There could have been. The ice cream man is misunderstood. These kids are misunderstood. Their parents are mm -hmm. all dicks. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the ice cream man kills them and that's messed up. So they have to stop him. But he's a tragic hero. And the kids learn that from now on we shouldn't do that. But then the one kid goes too far and he's in the asylum and he's the new ice cream man. I feel like that's what they were going for maybe what they should have gone for <laughs> <laughs> and what we get instead is a head in a waffle cone <laughs> right. it is what they what they wanted was of mice and ice cream men but what they got <laughs> i got nothing after that i just thought that was a good nice. Nice. Goodbye, I'm everybody. Let's admit that <laughs> thank you see you next week folks all right uh rating time <laughs> <laughs> they had all these strands of the story there that they could have just went Boop, and put it together and they just eventually abandon it. That's what I, I kept waiting for them to reveal Clint Howard is this misunderstood person. Totally. Mm -hmm. Never accumulated and he's like, ah, just kill the kids. That's fine. Totally. So, yeah. Same with uh, Olivia Hussey. I was like, at some point she'll be revealed as evil yes. or as misunderstood yep. or no, she's like way. the mom of Voorhees or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yes. I was waiting for the kill for me, Jason part that she's got him under mind control. Mm -hmm. It's not even his fault. No. And all, all the people, all the people that run the insane asylum are crazy. So the, the <laughs> foundation of that is right there. Yeah. And like Pee Wee Herman crazy. <laughs> So yeah. there's no surprises. They show you why everything. So, well, sorry, that was the wrong wording. They don't show you anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the opposite of what you said. <laughs> yeah. You get a nice puppet show. It's pretty yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, they do have two cops heads on. Okay, I do like that he uses ice cream utensils <laughs> to fight. Yes. Like, yes. like the yeah. fifth ninja turtle. <laughs> Well, he uses he uses ice cream scoops to move the mouths of the head puppets it's, too. It's, it's brilliant. It's great. It's brilliant. Yeah, when he jumps down and hits with the cops, <laughs> yeah, with the yeah. ice cream scoops, and they die. Yep. <laughs> also, he's not Batman, but he goes from like the ice cream fucking truck to on top yeah. of it in three seconds. Yeah. He's barely moving the whole movie. He's made out of like glass and fucking Converse, and suddenly he's like, "Ah, uh, don't don't shoot the kid." Next thing you know, he's on top of it. Like that fucking fly from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then he's hopping down and hitting them with aluminum foil, and they're knocked out to the end of the movie. Well, that makes me think I would like to see Clint Howard in Whitey Tidies, because that dude's got to be ripped if he can pull that off. Well, absolutely. Yeah. If he became unhinged and was wearing only tidy whities and Converse <laughs> and that hat. And a bow tie. And he's in berserk mode. Oh, yeah. yeah. At least that's something. <laughs> he's See, scooping out eyeballs like on the, like, <laughs> he's running by people. <laughs> oh, oh, we are writing God. a much better movie here, I'm afraid. <laughs>